Okay, I'm back. And I learned the game. And let's see, let's, maybe we can put the game or the camera out here. We'll see how it fits. So I'm going to play through an entire game. I did what, I did it in about half an hour myself. Um, just learning it. Actually, not even just learning it. Just playing it. Maybe I can do one as quick as 15 minutes. So I'm going to use this to show who the current player is. And um, I'm just going to play through and you can see how it works. Um, or maybe I'll just do a few rounds. And maybe you don't have to see the whole thing. So first we have shuffled our deck of characters and our deck of companions. And here are our available banners. There are seven banners available. The player with the most banners uh, at the end of the game wins. So, um, and those banners move around. Okay, so what we'll do first is we're going to set, we're going to lay out a grid of characters six by six. And um, Varys is the one that the guy who moves around will be um, one of those 36. So he'll be randomly placed on the board. Uh, the object of the game, like I said, is, is for uh, each player. Each player wants to be the hand of the king. And we do this, we get votes from the, the royal families of each of the houses. And by doing that, we send Varys basically over um, to speak to those members. And we collect those members, the ones that we send Varys to speak to. And each player is going to be doing that, trying to gain... Um, those votes from the different houses. So, well, first of all, we'll add the grid of characters. Six by six. And you're not going to be able to see all of them. I'll, uh, I'll pan the camera around as I fill up the board, or after I'm done filling up the board. Six. Uh, oh, in each card. So each card's going to have their name, uh, artwork for the character, and how many members of the house there are. So for House Greyjoy, there are seven characters. Seven members. Wow. Check that out. The first row. Turns out the first row belongs to House Greyjoy. <laughs> so that's probably only going to be relevant in the first round. Well, it depends on where Varys ends up. So it looks like all the Greyjoys pretty much are here. They're almost out already. Okay, House Stark has the most characters. Oh, there's Varys right there, second row. And you don't have to lay them out like the way I'm doing it now. I just thought it'd make a more even distribution, but it's turning out that it's actually not that even looking. Oops. Oops. Make a noise. Okay, so the first player is the youngest person in the group. So since I'm the only one in the group, that's me. So I place my talking stick. So Varys can only move orthogonally. So basically north, south, east, and west, or up, down, left, and right, straight across. So if he was sitting over here, he'd move up here or down here, right, and left. The game ends when Varys can no longer make a legal move anywhere. So if he's like sitting out here and then there's no cards around him in either orthogonally either direction, 
then that's it. Um, the way he moves is the player, whoever is controlling him that turn, will move him. They'll declare a house. You're basically declaring which cards you want to claim for your your uh, play area. And to do that is uh, you would move various to the farthest character of that house. So see over here, for me, and whoever has the most cards, the most characters of that house will get the banner. Um, at the end of each round or each turn, you will compare your set of characters with everyone else's. And if you have the same or more amount of characters, then you will take the banner for your own. Oh, and also, companions do special abilities. So, the only characters that will be in play, there's a number of them, and there's the numbers that will start in play. So you'll take the deck of companions, and uh, you'll draw six. And those six will be the only ones available from the get-go of play. There's some cards that might actually allow you to draw more from the deck, but for now, for these purposes, you reveal six, and those are the only six available to the players. So whoever takes the last member of a house that's on the board, that's in King's Landing, um, gets to choose from one of the six companions available and resolve what it says immediately. So we'll draw one from the deck, just to see for an example. Um, so Sander Clegane, he says, kill any character in King's Landing. So if someone's going for um, the most whatever, and or they want to go for the last one, you can kill a character that's in King's Landing and deny someone the ability to kill somebody. Um, if one of the companion cards allows you to take um, the last character on the board in King's Landing, then you may you may choose and resolve another character card or another companion card. But if you kill the last person on the board, that's it. They just kill. You don't get to resolve another companion card. So Varys right now. Maybe I'll just do a few rounds. So various right here. I'm the first player, and the most cards I can grab in one swipe is House Lannister. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to grab the cards first, and then I'll move various. But basically, I'm going to take him from here and move him all the way down to here after I've claimed House Lannister. And then I will take that card that he lands on plus all the other ones in that path that I moved him. So we know that he's going to move from here to here, and all these go down into my play area. There's six Lannisters all together on the board. So the other three, one, two, three, right there. So we'll move Varys. Technically he's supposed to move first, but we'll move him second. And I shall take the Lannister, House Lannister banner. Right there. So the next player, and we'll go clockwise. So the next player is up here. Take the talking stick and place it up here to remind myself. So now Varys only has three directions he can move. Right? He can move north, all the way to House Stark and collect one, or House Tyrell. Or he can, he can get Bran over here. Or he can move across here, and I think I'm going to move him across. Um, but there's a lot of House Stark. I want a good chance of grabbing them all. So I'm going to do is, and you really should look at the whole board because now you're setting up the next player for what they'll be able to do. So right now it's just a mad grab at as many, as many characters as you can, and then at the towards the end or the middle of the game that comes, um, with the stealing of banners and such, and where the companions become a little bit more important. So what I'm going to do now is if I, if that if I move various over. And grab the Targaryens. Um, I'll move them over here, but then I'm setting up the next player to grab House Baratheon. If I move them all the way to grab the Starks, 
Um, then the next player can grab House Targaryen. Well, I mean, the next player can still... They can grab the Starks. Or they can grab Baratheon. Um, if I move him to where Arya is, then that player can choose these two, right? Um, I think that would be the best choice. It it allows him less choices, right? Because this way he he can grab two of Baratheon and two of Stark. But if I move him over here and I grab the Starks, it's Stark Banner. Now, the next person over here. I mean, they can go any direction, or north or west, right? But now, if he goes north, he can only grab one of a particular house. Well, actually, that's two still, right? Because technically, see, there, I didn't see that. The Balon is right here, and Roderick is up there. So I can say House Greyjoy. Oh, but I wouldn't do that, see? Because the next player, after that, can grab three and take the banner from me, or from him. This player. So actually, I am going to. Um, I'm going to go back. Yeah. Then the fighting goes back because this person will be able to. Um, will only be able to go north, right? So watch this. So he's going to bring back. Or actually, he can go north that way. Uh, we're going to go. Uh, House Targaryen. So we'll move two over here, and this person will get Targaryen Banner, and then, so the turn goes back to me, now I have two choices, I can go across and grab one Stark, and set up the next player to grab more Starks, two more, or I can go north, now this is not a good choice. Um, I can grab a Stark. Uh, I'll grab here, Hoster Tully. There's only two in his house. And he might be just a good one. See, um, Edmure Tully is the other one. And if I, I mean, if I get him, someone else can steal this car, the banner from me because there's, you know, they just have to tie me to grab the banner. So really what you want is you want to be the second person to grab that. So what I'm going to do actually is, oh, the next person is going to be all set up. The House Greyjoys. Well, they cannot have them all. So, actually, maybe I will do this. I'm going to grab, uh, I'm going to say House Tyrell. I'm going to grab Olena for myself. Right now, I have the most House Tyrell. So I have one. So I'll grab the banner for that. So now I have two banners on my side <clears throat> there's three of them on the board so there's a good chance I'll be able to I don't know maybe steal them or something so turn goes back to up here next person their choice they can move in any direction but cannot pick up a bunch of any one it's like only one of each going either direction we can secure more house stark you know I have two right now or they have two we can infringe on something. So no one has Baratheon yet. Um, yeah, let's do that. Okay, so I'm going to go up to do, get Robert Baratheon. No one has it yet. So that person has the most. They will get that banner. So you can see it there. And they get the banner. <clears throat> so now two of us have two banners. One has one. But obviously this guy is going to go for House Greyjoy, right? Um, we'll pick up these three. Move Varys over there. And he will get... So he's got three and he's going to get the banner here. So we each have two banners. Now... Okay, so now the turn is back to me, and I can only go two directions. I can either grab 
one Stark or one Greyjoy, which will get me really nothing, I could try to secure House Tyrell, which I'm going to do, actually. So now I have that banner, because it really doesn't matter how many characters you have, as long as you have equal or more at the time that you grab them. And since there's only one left, I have now secured my keeping the banner, because they cannot beat me. I mean, there might be a card there that a companion might count as two of a certain house, which there is actually. He's not on the board, but Jon Snow, you name a house and he counts as two for that house. So that's a way you can work around this, but he's not on the board right now. And I don't think there's a way to bring him out. Um, so yeah, so I'm set. So whoever grabs that, it doesn't matter. I have the house banner, so no one's going to take it from me. So the next person, um, we can add to house Baratheon. Um... But then someone can take the House Greyjoy away. Or, let's see. Lannister, no one, well. Start building up. Let's do that. Let's try that. So. Hmm. Greyjoys. Do. Oh, well, yeah, so if I, if I claim House Baratheon, I have to go all the way out to here to grab those two Baratheon fellows, which would add more. There's only four. Actually, yeah, and then it wouldn't matter, but then someone could get the two Starks over here, the next person, and that person already has two. If this guy grabs two, the banner goes over here. Um, so probably doesn't want to do that. He could do Hoster Tully for the same reason I was almost going to get it. That there's only one, but one person can still steal it, so you really want to be the second one to grab it. Um, House Greyjoy can start to infringe on this guy's as Greyjoys, but you won't be able to take the banner because there's only one to take this way. But there's seven of them. Um... Targaryen. Well, no, we can go up, and that way this person will get more Greyjoys. So it, it's not really, not all that important. Ooh, I think you grab two. Yeah. So we're gonna claim House Lannister. Yeah, this guy's gonna infringe on my Lannister stake. Um, but I have three Lannisters, so it's not gonna be that critical right now. This person. Oh, <laughs> I totally missed that. So there's two Starks right there. Ah, that, I guess that's one of the things that happens when you plan by yourself. So this guy is actually not going to take more Greyjoys. This person is going to take House Stark. So they'll move over here. And on Rickon, take Sansa also. So now this person has two. End of this person's turn, you'll compare. I have none. This person has two also. Since they tied, they're going to take the banner over here. So now this person has three banners. That person has one banner, and I have two in front of me. It's my turn now. So I have a couple of options. None really help me out. Um, wow. Well, if I go... If I take Tully, that's a risk still. But who? What's going to happen is, uh, let's see. So let's try not to think too far ahead. These two guys will be battling out for the House Stark stuff. I think. I don't think I'm going to have an opportunity to grab any of that. So maybe I want to bolster my Lannisters. There's no Lannisters for me to get. There's Targaryen, Tully, Greyjoy, one, two. There's four Greyjoys out though. But if I move to the Greyjoys, then someone else will grab that last one. 
probably. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go for Hoster Tully right here. And I have the I have a fifty percent chance of keeping them. Right? So we'll do that. Next person can add two Baratheons. Or they can do oh they can do Lannisters. They can do Lannisters. No. Oh. That's what I would do actually. If I was that player, which I am. I'm going to move this guy to House Lannister, right? So that didn't earn me any stake in the Lannisters or in this guy. Because I still have three on my side. But what happened now is Varys moves over here, right? And now uh, this guy, he can take the Tully banner from me right in one move and he'd still be safe well okay so he's not gonna be completely safe but what I'll show you something that just happens speed it up because now it's, I'm just taking too long so he's gonna take uh, the Tully right Tully house he's gonna steal the banner from me because he grabbed the last guy he's gonna resolve oh he's gonna resolve I didn't see this actually the result of the character, he's going to look, Jenry counts as one Baratheon card. So he can actually steal a banner from this guy, still. Um, if he takes that guy, because he'll tie for Baratheon. Um, let's see. Yeah. And then this guy, kill one character in King's Landing. Uh, one character in any play area and one available. Wow, I'm gonna do that guy. <laughs> um, oh, that's awful. So, oh, wow, that's really terrible. Um, Dylan Payne kill Edward Stark in King's Landing, or so Edward Stark dies. He'll die from that guy, so he'll lose the banner. This guy has it right now, so it really doesn't matter. Um, so he's, okay. Uh, Loras Tyrell. Take Renly, Baratheon, or any Tyrell character from King's Landing, or any place. So this is also uh, Baratheon support. Take Renly. Where's, oh, Renly's right here. Okay. Uh, Bronn, he. Take Tyrion Lannister. <coughs> Which he's still on the board, I think. Or is it? it was right here, Tyrion. So he can take a Lannister, which doesn't really help him at all. Just to deny someone a Lannister. If you have Tyrion Lannister in your play area, she she counts as two Lannister cards. So there's Lannister support and Baratheon support. I'm gonna take this guy, and he's gonna kill people. Kill one character in King's Landing, one character in any play area. One available companion. <laughs> so, let's see, let's kill the Baratheon guy. Because we're going to start killing Baratheons. <laughs> we'll kill this guy out here. So he does not have a banner. Killed that guy. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's kill uh, Shay. Because Sue, whoever gets Tyrion Lannister, she's going to count as two. Um, someone grabs it, so we'll discard her. Uh, we're gonna kill Robert Baratheon, and then uh, that's off that guy's play area. And then we're gonna kill another Baratheon. Uh, well, let's kill uh, Shireen right there. Okay, so that's done. That's gone. All right. Wow, that's awful. Okay. And then, um, so now it's my turn. Um, I can still make them fight the Starks, fight out the Starks. To draw attention off of me. Um, because the Greyjoys are pretty safe. Looks like. Or I can get Targaryen. Man. We need to end the game early, right? <laughs> Let's end the game early. So I'm going to go House Targaryen. I'm going to go up one. I'm going to grab 
Daenerys. Hey, Mother of Dragons. I have one. This guy over here has two. So he keeps his banner. I still have two banners. Mm -hmm. Um, Next guy. I, I think he still has the banner, even though he doesn't have any Baratheon people. I'll have to double check. This guy um, can only go two. Can, and he can only grab Greyjoys. Because there's one here. So Varys is up there. And directly down from him is Aaron Greyjoy. And to the left of him is Asha Greyjoy. <clears throat> so if he goes to Asha, then this guy can actually grab... This guy over here can grab three Starks and mm -hmm. secure his ability to uh, grab the Stark family and hold the banner. So we want to be able to steal it from him later. But if we go down here, mm -hmm. then um, we pick up a Greyjoy. This person can still grab a Stark, but only one. Um, but they can grab more Greyjoys. Uh... So we'll do that, actually. Because we don't want that person grabbing three Starks. So, um, so next person, and maybe they can get a Baratheon and steal the Baratheon banner. But they can't. Lannisters. I have three, they have none. The other person has two. There's the Tigurians. Can secure Tigurians. Um, one more Greyjoy, and they secure the Greyjoys. So. Stark. Three. Yeah, I think it's a bigger risk. So let's do that. So we'll move this here. And what's going to happen is. So they're going to take Balon Greyjoy and secure. No one will take the Greyjoys. Um, there, there might be a way to take the Greyjoys or kill them and stuff, but right now there's pretty security. He's got four. There's three left on the board. Um, okay, I would not move that on the wrong direction. So now it's my turn, and I can move it this way. I can grab a Lannister or Targaryen. I have two. Oh, I can steal one. Or I can get Targaryen up here. Yeah. Actually, we got to, we got to rest control away from this guy. So I'm going to help out the other person. So I'm going to move up here and grab a Targaryen. Grab Eris. Up here. So now I have two. The other guy doesn't have any up there, but this guy has two, so I have tied. So I get the banner. <clears throat> okay, and then the next one, so this guy up here, this is what he's going to do. He actually can only move in one direction. He can either grab Marjorie Terrell, right, there's nothing north or south of him, and he's already farthest east, so he can only go west. He can grab Marjorie Terrell, or he can pick up and, and do nothing, right? He'll make it so that this guy can grab more Starks. Um, he can grab, he can go House Stark. And grab that. Now he's got three. He has more than this guy, so he gets the banner. Right? And, um, to this guy, uh, see what's gonna happen is he's gonna be forced to grab the Greyjoys. Um, because if he grabs Starks, he can get the Stark banner back. But then that person, oh, you know what, actually, so he could say, hey, Patrick, if you grab the Greyjoys, um, well, see, he can deny, I have three banners, that guy has two, this guy has two banners, so they're tied, I don't want to help either of them, <laughs> so, what he could do is, he can still secure Greyjoys if he's thinking in the far enough head. So what he's going to do is he's going to grab Marjorie Terrell. It's not going to affect him at all. Oh, this guy. Shoot. I'm on the wrong guy. Oh. So that's they're going to do that. So um,
Baratheons. Okay, so, but if he grabs a Baratheon, the next guy will grab and tie. Not only will he take the banner, but he's going to be able to resolve one of these again. So what this guy is going to do is... He still has a chance. Um, he's actually going to grab the Greyjoys. Up here. He's gonna grab Marjorie. This guy's gonna grab Marjorie. Right? He's gonna try to control his fate. So he's got one, get some nothing, because I have two house Terrell. So he's only got one. So he's not gonna get anything. Turn passes to this guy. Um this guy can only go one way. Right? There's nothing around him. He's gonna grab a Stark. So now he has three. He's gonna take the banner from this person. Um, then my turn. I have to go quick. So I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab Targaryen to secure my ability to have Targaryens. There. So I have three now. And then this person is gonna get a House Stark. Right. That's gonna go. Now there's four, so they'll grab the banner back. This guy, now he could grab the House Stark banner back. But what he's gonna do actually is he's gonna secure Greyjoy for him. Go all the way up here for Greyjoy. Oh, you know what? Shoot. Let's see, let's not do that yet. Let's grab this one. Let's take the Stark Banner. Yeah, it doesn't matter, really. Oh, it does, actually. Oh, I grabbed the last uh, Targaryen. So, I would resolve a card here. It, it, it comes down to, so what happens is, he could take the last Stark, grab a banner, and resolve a companion card, or he can grab the last two Greyjoys, secure that, and still resolve um, companion card. So there's lots of stuff here. I know I'm out of time. I have 30 seconds left before my video cuts off. So I'll end it here. That's how the game is played. I talked to myself a bunch of times. Um, but yeah, I'm going to end the video here because 10 seconds is just going to continue for, on my end, but it's going to cut it off for YouTube. So I'll see you guys later.